Hello all you Teslonians, welcome back to another video here in Tesla Sheep channel. So I got this update which is 2020.36. Yes, 36, that's all. Um in this update we are getting auto steer stop sign uh auto auto steer stop sign and stop light warning. Uh so it it will let you know when you're on autopilot at least uh, if you're about to uh run a stop sign or uh all that. And uh green uh, traffic light chime um, so basically what that does is basically you will uh, do a little uh, ding sound you know when you're backing up or when you're getting close to an object it, you'll hear that ding 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 so basically when the light turns green um, you will uh, the your car will like within two seconds uh, your car will play that one ding sound like thing so reminding you to move forward and uh, you got uh, cruise set speed uh, improvement so uh, basically what it is is uh, so let's say you're an autopilot and uh, all you gotta do is just you know you're you're you want to go a little faster you press the accelerator pedal and you know some people they just you know scroll the scroll wheel uh to set to that speed limit where, where you know but uh this time you can just press the uh the icon on top uh, where, where the speed limit sign is but i feel like scroll wheel is much easier um and uh that's all basically so Let's just go for a little drive. Uh, it's currently nighttime, so it's really dark. So I haven't done a nighttime autopilot test in a while, so it's gonna be really interesting. So I'll mount you guys up and uh, we'll go for a drive and see how the autopilot uh, does in this new update. And we'll also test out the uh, stop sign and stop light in um, green uh, signal. Uh, chimes and stuff so let's get going i guess so here you can see the uh new airbag sign that's right there <clears throat> and it's green uh it's red right now when it turned green it's gonna do a little ding sound so it's gonna turn green it's weird it's the first time it didn't work <laughs> Well, that's really, really weird. Maybe because I'm, I was turning. Who knows? Let's uh, put it on autopilot right now. We're on autopilot. Speed limit is 60, uh, but we're in 50. I mean, speed limit is 50, but we're in 60. Let's change lane to the right lane. And lane change, I have no complaints uh, at all. Um, I would say Tesla is like one of the best for changing lanes. So we're coming at uh, red, green light, so we're going to have to confirm. Yep, let me confirm, that's good. But uh, yeah, in the newest update, 2020.36, Canadians got spooked, like they got for help because as Canadian, uh, we didn't get uh, the traffic si um, speed limit sign recognition. So we are stuck with the GPS um, speed limit. So that's that. So hopefully we'll get it in a week or two but uh, right now it's amber and it's gonna turn red so recognize that and uh, it's stopping so what I'm noticing is that over here it's saying you know stopping for a red light or whatever right it's traffic control but over here in daytime it recognizes if it's green or red early but then nighttime right now it's kind of delayed. I don't know if I'm, I'm not too sure about that. I'm just, uh, you know, guessing. But uh, anyway, so we're waiting for a red light right now. So let's see if it actually do that ding. It takes two seconds after it turns green for the ding to happen. So we'll see how that works. There's a guy behind me. So hopefully I don't get honked. Let's see. It's going to turn. No, it didn't. That's really, really weird. Um, let me go to my settings and see if I actually turned that on. So, autopilot. Yeah. Where is it? My bad. Emergency assist. Yeah, 
green traffic light chime. That's so weird. Oh, you hear that ding? I don't know why it's dinging right now. That's weird. But um, autopilot, in terms of autopilot, it's doing a pretty great job. I have no complaints so far because it's just straight driving. Um, let me change lane again. Pretty much instantaneous. So now we're, I'm following this truck, right? And right when we close, get close to the signal, I'm gonna switch lanes. Let's see. It didn't stop on the brake or anything because there was no follow vehicle on the other lane. So that's good. Oh, oh, that's interesting. So whenever it's green, when you're, oh yeah, that's the thing. Whenever it's green, it makes that ding sound when you're on autopilot. So you know that you need to confirm. That's genius. That is, I thought that wasn't, a, that wasn't gonna be useful, but that's genius, that's really useful. I love that. That's great because in autopilot, at least right now, you need to confirm even if it's green, right? Uh, red obviously will stop, but green you need to confirm in order to go through. Some people, they look at the light and they're like, oh, it's green, so autopilot kind of recognizes it. But this way, it's really good. I don't know why it's not uh, dinging when it turned green. Maybe I, I wasn't supposed to be on autopilot. Okay, see? So whenever it, 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 sees, it sees that it's a green light, so it dings me. So right after the tone, I just press the uh, uh, stop. I always have that complaint because um, it, it will say, hey, uh, approaching a, a signal in this much meter, confirm to go through and you, I will confirm it. And then when you get a little closer, see, it's really useful because when you get closer, it will prompt me to you know confirm it again and then slam on the brake and stuff. It's kind of really uh, not so intuitive. But this way, you get that audible signal. Again, it's, it's really, really useful. I, I, okay, I'm freaking out over this because it's something that I've been complaining a lot um, in autopilot testing because, again, it's gonna do it again. It should, here we go. Perfect timing too. It kind of, you know, uh, decelerated a little bit, but uh, it's good. So we're gonna have a green light again. Auto steers, oh, awesome. It dinged twice, but anyhow, we're going through because it's a green, and because it was a green, it uh, did that audible ding sound. Which is really, really useful. I'm really happy about that. Um, I, I just want to show you guys uh, this, um, the other one where we go to the red light. So I think for that, I don't, I don't, I can't be on autopilot. So because I haven't tested without autopilot, so I'm gonna take it off autopilot, change lane, and go right behind this uh, SUV right here, and uh, slam on the brake. Oh, Okay, I can't test that out right now. Bummer. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna have to get to a, a red light, and then I will take it off autopilot and see how that works. But I have to change back to the other lane. So there's a car behind me, uh, beside me. So I'm gonna change, put the signal. Beautifully done. It's quick. It was quick. Again, when autopilot wants to change lane, it literally just hey I have this space right here calculated the distance between each car I'm moving in right now once it once it calculated like it has enough space and it's going it was going the, the right speed it just moves it doesn't think again after you know while it's moving obviously if the car is you know behind you coming in really fast um, it will go back to its original lane but um, other than that, Autopilot is really, really uh, confident in changing lanes. So I'm pretty sure we're gonna approach a uh, red light. Yes, we are. So let's go a little faster to catch up on the red light. I know I'm going a little fast, but 
it's all for an experiment yo so I'm off autopilot right now so we're gonna go right behind this I think it's a what is it is it a Prius it ain't a Prius okay all right I'm gonna come to a complete stop I'm on hold right now these guys are just fooling around. I don't know what the hell are they doing. Are they drunk? Gosh. There we go. Finally got it. We got the ding. So I, I guess we, you can be on autopilot for that ding to happen. Let me pop it back on autopilot. So you have to be driving. So you know some people, well, <laughs> when I say some people, me too because I sometimes just zone out uh, on red light right uh, you're about to turn left or you're about to uh, go through a, a, a green right and it turns green and you zone out and uh, there we go beautifully done um, ooh, ooh, okay so it was an amber, usually what it does, it slams on the brake and give me that red hand. But this time around, it didn't. That's really interesting. So again, we're in a green, a red light. It was so confident uh, over there. Uh, it knew that's amber. Yeah, so when you're in autopilot, it doesn't give you that audible thing to tell you hey it's green uh, whenever you're not on autopilot it gives you that ding and also if it's a green in front of you you're approaching a green light it gives you that ding okay now I get it so people are getting confused over this they're like going on autopilot and try to uh, do that but it didn't work so let's tr just, just try to confirm it so we're approaching a red light right now and I'm gonna give it a good, good four second uh, timing and see if it gives me a ding. So I'm gonna actually look at my watch and uh, give it a four second. Um, please, no one comes behind me. I don't want anybody. Oh, there is no. Oh no. Okay, we'll just we'll just we'll just be a an irritating dumbass in front for a second so we're gonna turn and green three two one nope I give it a good three seconds no cigar all right so we're approaching another red right now this time around I am going to be I'm not going to be on autopilot I'm gonna be a regular uh, you know just driving by myself I'm not gonna be on autopilot and see how this one works so coming to a complete stop and this one because I wasn't on autopilot once it turned green it should give me that ding within two seconds so what I found is the time limit is about two seconds because you know it, it gives at least it dings it's like a pre-horn so <laughs> instead of the guy behind me you know honking at me the car actually kind of honks at me well thing telling me hey it's green you can't go now it's really good so let's wait for it fantastic it works beautifully every single time I thought it was just uh, you need to be an auto except that first time I don't know why, but uh, other than that, it works really nicely. So I'm gonna pop it back on autopilot again for y'all. So the speed limit here is 50, but it's going, it's saying that the speed limit is 60 uh, and it's going 70, so I'm gonna have to slow down. Uh, again, we didn't get the speed limit sign recognition. Audible sound. I, I, I can't tell you how much I love this. 
because it's really useful because whenever whenever I'm taking my family members or my friend uh, somewhere and the cars and let me put it okay I can't change lane yeah of course because this lane is kind of weird okay now it oh oopsie let me try that again again I say as y'all know like this road right here it doesn't recognize the left side sometimes so it's kind of weird but anyway like whenever I'm taking my family member or my friends uh, somewhere in my car and it's an autopilot and a regular road it's kind of I'm, I don't usually put it on autopilot because coming up to a green light you confirm it and then <clears throat> it says yeah hey you need to confirm again uh, and it kind of weird uh, it's it kind of scares them so I usually don't pop it on autopilot but for this one I am really really uh, liking it it's it actually gives me that audible sound so right after the audible sound you click it not before it not at it right after the audible sound you can just you know uh, click the stock I usually do the stock thing because if you put press the pedal uh, it kind of goes over the speed limit uh, like it's basically you know kind of jerky so I don't like that we're coming to a 90 degree turn right now at nighttime ooh, it's going the speed limit oh, okay now it's slowing down a little bit it's all right it's all right it's pretty good um, so again I have I don't have any complaints we're gonna have to get to that red light where it stomped on the brake last time all the way over there where the construction side is uh, so we're gonna go to this it's red so let's see okay it's turn green bomber already come on BMW pick up your speed you're slow all of those BMW drivers are gonna hate my video because here's the thing it's not just I'm not blaming the brand it's just some people like those there's a type of people you know who I'm talking about the people with BMWs and Mercedes uh, who thinks who, who think they're the they're the king they're like they think they're they're the richest people around uh, and the, you know they try to you know be all rich and all but I don't like that like you gotta be nice no matter uh, how rich you are or how poor you are um, being nice to other people um, you know gives you more respect uh, from other people that's all I have to say ding amazing so the lights turn green a second after you get that ding so I'm gonna pop it back on autopilot right here we're approaching that construction zone where it uh, you know stomped on the brake the last time I te uh, tested uh, autopilot and red local road We're red okay I gotta confirm it's beautiful let's see if it's gonna stomp on the brake there's a bus Ooh. beautiful it wasn't that bad it wasn't bad at all so I'm gonna put the signal on again it's not recognizing this okay actually you know what I am going to go on this road, put on autopilot, let it change lane, because I'm not, not going to interrupt. So we're going to move through a green light, again, it's really good, um, I'm, I, I, I'm, I'm loving it. So yeah, this is it for today's video guys, it's just a little autopilot drive, just got the update, I'll do another video once we get the uh, full uh, speed uh, recognizing, recognition uh, thing. Um, it's really really good um, so yeah thanks for watching thanks for liking thanks for subscribing all you new subscribers um, I'm really really thankful uh, I'm trying to put uh, all of y'all's uh, names um, at the end uh, whoever who are, like the new subscribers so thanks for liking thanks for subscribing uh, thanks for uh, becoming uh, Teslonians um, Use my referral code to get 1,500 kilometers of free supercharging and subscribe and become a Tesla. This is me, Matushin, signing out.